Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in our first reading today, as we, the prophet Jeremiah spoke of the Lord's message and will to his people, we heard the Lord calling on his people, showing clearly his intent on forgiving them and being reconciled with them, despite the sins that they had committed. He wanted to remind them of the love which he has always showed generously to them and therefore called them to return to him and reject their sinful ways. At that time, the people of Israel and Judah had veered so far away from the path of the Lord and fell into sin that they had lost the grace and guidance of God as they chose to follow false gods and pagan idols instead of entrusting themselves to the Lord. As a result, the enemies of the people of God had risen up and conquered them, humiliated them, and defeated them, including the Assyrians who destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel and brought the people off into exile. And later on, the Babylonians would also conquer Judah and Jerusalem and brought the people into exile as well. Through the prophet Jeremiah, God therefore spoke of how the sins of the people would lead them to destruction and suffering, and reminding them that they needed to resist the temptations of, to sin and instead embrace God's generous mercy and desire to forgive all of them and god promised that he would gather them back and return them to their land and would bless them all once again and he did all as he had promised showing his faithfulness in our gospel passage today jesus explained the meaning of the parable of the sower to his disciples who asked him about the meaning and purpose of that parable. And the Lord told them all how the seeds that fell in all sorts of different conditions and types of soil, all except those that fell on rich soil, did not grow into healthy and fruitful plants. Those seeds that fell on the roadside were eaten up by the birds, symbolizing those who had rejected the word of God and his truth and as a result the devil snatched the words of truth from them and brought them further and further away into the path of downfall through sin those seeds that fell on the rocky ground were those who had superficial faith those people focused only on appearances treating faith as a mere formality and as a result they did not allow the faith and truth of God to grow strong, and they did not have genuine and strong love for God. As a result, they are also easily swayed and tempted to sin, and they had no strong foundation of faith and virtue. Those that fell on the soil among the thorns were those who encountered many challenges, temptations, and difficulties, in their faith life and instead of enduring and persevering they allowed themselves to be choked with fear being immobilized by their uncertainties and doubts and as a result they weakened and gave up the faith and chose to turn to other sources of comfort and abandon god when trials and troubles come for them this is why all of us are reminded that we need to be like those seeds that fell on the rich soil and grow many fruits and provide bountiful returns 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. We may be wondering what these phrases mean and what it truly means for us to bear rich fruits of our faith. The Lord, calls us, the Lord calls us all to follow him and to listen to his words, to walk in his path again, once again 
and be reconciled to him like the children of Israel. And if we do so, then in the end, we can be assured of a most fruitful and wonderful life. However, it is not going to be easy for us to walk this path. And we need to ensure that we cultivate a life filled with faith and dedication, a life that is attuned to God and His will, a life that is prayerful and conducive for us to develop further in our relationship with God. Let us not worry that we have no ability or little faith or little knowledge of our Christian faith. Rather, we must realize that it is by our small little contributions and actions that we will inspire so many more people by our little actions towards whoever it is that we encounter in life. And these people whom we have touched, they will then in turn influence even more people. That is exactly how we bear 30-fold, 60-fold, and a hundredfold return and harvest. May God bless us. Amen.